Alumo, the formula to efficient energy. Today we'll be looking at the solar limitations of your Alumo device so that you have a full understanding of what it's capable of. There are different elements to this. The first thing to consider is the size inverter. The size inverter determines how many solar panels you can connect and what you'll be able to operate during grid loss periods. There are currently three types of inverters on the market. These are hybrid, which can work without grid connection or in conjunction with the grid, off-grid, which can operate with no power supply from the grid, and grid-tied inverters, which work in conjunction with the grid but are unable to run when there is a grid loss. The second element to consider is high demand appliances. This function limits the number of appliances that can be connected to the inverter during grid loss periods. Examples would include geysers, stoves, air conditioners and pumps. Thirdly, we need to consider functions and settings. Depending on which system you have, you may or may not be able to monitor your system remotely. This would assist the assessment of important data, for example, your consumption, usage and savings. Next, let's look at PV solar panels. There is a maximum and minimum number of solar panels that can be connected to your Alumo system. Remember, solar panels are the cheapest component of this installation. Depending on the size and type of your system, you might be limited to a certain number of solar panels that you can connect. Conversely, there is also a minimum number of solar panels that must be connected in order to result in any form of savings. In addition, you need to ensure that you have the required voltage to boot up the system. Next to consider are elements such as shade, angle and other environmental factors. One of the biggest limitations for any solar solution would be the lack of ideal roof space for a solar installation. Limited roof space, any significant shade cast onto solar modules, the angle of the location and other factors such as dust and temperature will determine the performance of the solar system. Lastly, we need to consider the battery. This includes the following. The battery capacity, meaning the size and duration of life of the battery before it needs to be recharged. The discharge current, which needs to be of a certain level in order for you to run all the appliances you desire to. The battery life cycle, which is limited to a certain number of cycles in a battery's life. Better batteries will have longer life cycles due to battery composition and more advanced technology of the certain manufacturers. We hope you've enjoyed learning more about your Alumo Solar device. Don't hesitate to contact us at Alumo.